Hi, Peter, this is Melly, and we're going to be doing our second lesson today. All right, so the first thing I want you to do is to take the case and put it on the ground with the logo facing towards the sky. Perfect. Now reach down and then hitch it. And take a look at your clearance. You're going to be clearing it right there off camera. And take a look at all the parts. If you remember, there's the bell, the mouthpiece, there's the barrel, the top joint, and the bottom joint. Okay? Okay. So the first step is to take your reed. You need the reed? Yeah. Okay. Take it out and put it in the tip side. Be careful of that because it's very delicate. Put it in the tip side of your mouth. Throw it in there. Don't swallow it. Like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just suck on it. Get it nice and moist because it's going to make a sound easier if it's nice and moist. Mm -hmm. Okay? Careful of the tip. All right? And now we're going to remember how to take the clarinet out. So first thing to do is to grab your belt. Mm -hmm. See the belt? Mm -hmm. Perfect. And your next trick is going to be to grab the bottom joint. And you can tell the bottom joint is the one that's only got cork on one side. So put your belt down on your leg. Mm -hmm. Take your bottom joint with the cork on only one side and take the cork up. Go up my face. Hold it where there aren't any keys so that you can't bend anything. Mm -hmm. and twist and insert. Perfect, looks great. All right, now take out the top joint. Mm -hmm. You can see how you've got this row of keys here on the side? Mm -hmm. That's the bottom. What I want you to do is place your fingers mm -hmm. on the top and second key, because that's going to open the bridge key. Do you see the bridge key here? Mm -hmm. you see it on here? Mm -hmm. okay. Now twist and insert that, holding down that key, and making sure that the bridge key mm -hmm. extends over the... Uh, well, the bridge on the other side. So you're going to want to make sure that the uh, all the keys face the front. Holding both sides. That's right. Go ahead and twist that. And does the bridge key close over that? Mm -hmm. Oh, great, great. There we go. Okay. No, I got my sweater in it. Okay. Well, open it up and take your sweater out. Don't shake the clarinet. Oh, sorry. Remember to twist and insert. Twist and push. Mm -hmm. Don't ever force it. Looks like you got the bridge key over there, and that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, place it across your lap. Can you do that without? Mm -hmm. right, make sure that it's not going to roll off. Mm -hmm. Be careful with it. And then go ahead and grab your mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. And if you remember this step, Take the barrel mm -hmm. and twist and insert that as well. Very good. You always want to grab by more of it if you can. Mm -hmm. Remember to twist and insert. Okay. Now just quickly, can you turn the read around in your mouth and just get the uh, the back side of it? Nope, around the other way, like so. Oh, okay. With the uh, with the flat side on your tongue. Mm -hmm. Get a nice and moist. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now, do you remember how to put the reed on the mouthpiece? So slide the, up, loosen the ligature first. Mm -hmm. And slide it up a little way. Mm -hmm. And then take the reed out with your right hand in this case. Mm -hmm. And place the, um, the side with the wood on it mm -hmm. in underneath the ligature. Okay. Right? And you want to see just a little bit of black over the tip of the reed. Okay. And then go ahead and tighten both the screws on your ligature. That looks great. Okay. Now I've already made a sound, so we're going to go ahead this time and just make a sound on the whole clarinet, okay? Okay. Alright? So when you've got that nice and tight. Uh-huh. Like that? Perfect. Looks great. Okay. Right? Alright. Grab it in your left hand. Grab the clarinet in your right. Okay. Have it right there on your leg. Uh -huh. Go ahead and grab it by the barrel and the keys here. And just twist it on so that the reed lines up with the hole on the back of the instrument. You want to look at the back and it should be a straight line all the way down. Okay. So that's exactly backwards. Oh. Right? You want it to line up with the hole on the back of the instrument rather than one through your front fingers. Like that? Perfect, you got it. Okay. 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 
So do you remember how to make a sound? No. Okay. So. This looks straight to you? Could you be blind, though? That's good. Okay. Okay? All right. So, you, if you don't remember how to make a sound, place right here on your left leg. Uh-huh. Oh. Right left leg. It's fine. Okay. Take the, take the film that you've got remaining, and we're going to just model how to do it. Okay. okay. So, roll your bottom lip over your bottom teeth. Uh-huh. Right? Uh -huh. Put the thumb behind the teeth, uh -huh. and then seal it up and make an E sound in blocks. Mm -hmm. Make an E, E with the back of your thumb blocks. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so take your thumb out. Okay. We're going to do exactly that same thing with the instrument. So okay. you take a look at what I do. See? Roll the bottom lip, teeth over the top, put, oh, just, I'll show you. Okay. Put the mouthpiece behind the teeth, seal it up, and make an E sound. <laughs> Take your right hand mm -hmm. and make sure that the thumb is right there under the thumb rest, mm -hmm. and that your left hand is just sort of is, is, is just. Sort of, oh, it's great! That's great. You may get a noise. It's perfect. Okay. I'm going to teach you a couple of notes this time. Okay. So scale it back. Take a look at the front of your instrument. Mm -hmm. Do you see where your first three fingers go? There are three holes, three open holes, two keys uh -huh. in one uh -huh. hole. Uh -huh. Perf perfect. You got one, two, three, yep. and then cover the back. Right. What you need to be sure is that your finger is covering that hole completely. You want to use the pad of your finger if you can. Okay. Right. So right here on your left, yeah, just bring it over to the pad. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So we're gonna put all those three down. Okay. And put the and cover up the hole in the back. Okay. And make that same beautiful noise that you made just now. All right. So you'll notice that the uh, your middle finger there isn't quite covering the key. Hey, I guess we just. Had. Beautiful. That's the C. Okay? Clarinet works in a pretty simple way, right? Mm -hmm. You make the tube longer, you make a lower sound, you make the tube shorter, you make a higher sound. Okay. Right? It's not entirely true, but we'll get into that in a little bit. But I want to teach you three notes first. Okay. Right? So watch out that you're kinda of, you're kinda of coming out now with them. Make sure you're making an E in the back of your throat. E. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, so let's learn the three notes. Okay. Right? This is C. Mm -hmm. Lift the third finger up to make a D. Mm -hmm. Lift the second finger up and you'll make an E. So play an E for me. Have you. Oh. No, no, you want to cover the back too. Perfect, perfect. Now place the second finger down. Up right, cover the hole. Make sure that you're covering it all the way. you don't puff your cheeks out as you're doing this. They need to stay nice and high. Right? And that's a good sound. You're getting a good sound. Okay. Right? Now push down the third finger and make, uh -huh. a, and make a C. Cool. Okay. All right. Let's learn something new. Okay. We have three notes. Yeah. Now we're going to play a song. Okay. So we got to learn how to articulate. Okay. Okay. So do you remember, can you make the sound two? Say two. Two. Or tune, like from tune. Two. Tune, right? Two. So keeping that back, you throw like an E. What you want to do is take the tip of your tongue and place it on the tip of the reed and just kiss it away. Say, ta. Right? Ta. So, like you say ta with the tip of your tongue and the tip of the roof of your mouth, yeah. make that same same motion, but with the tip of your tongue and the tip of the reed. So, it's going to sound like this. I'm going to do it on a C. I'm going to ask you to do the same. <laughs> So keep that armature nice So I don't hear the tongue on the tip of the reed. Can you try to just put the tongue? Just try and find that the tip of the reed with your tongue. Not fast. Nice and slow. Give me, give me four. Give me four tiles like this. I'll count you in. Give me four tiles. One, two, three, four. Ta. Oh, well, you had it before. It's okay. It's okay. You're taking the clarinet, as, as you try to do this, the clarinet's leaving, leaving your mouth a little bit. Make sure that it's nice and behind your teeth and angled down, not out. Make sure you have Well, you may not be covering a note. It looks like your ring finger's a little bit. Good. 
Good, but I... Oh. That's good. Okay. That's good. Keep it nice and echo down. Yeah. It's okay. Ten minutes now. I know. Okay. So give me a nice ta ta ta. Make sure that ring finger is covering all. Okay. Well, that's beautiful. Okay. So can we do that same thing on the D? Yeah. You remember your D? Yeah. Good. Now make sure that your clarinet is keeping at about a 45 degree angle from your body, so angle it down a little bit. It's good. It's good. You're doing well. Right? Do you remember the E? So you've got the three notes there, E, D, and G, mm -hmm. to a song I like to call Hot Cross Buttons. Oh. Uh, yeah. It's <laughs> so simple. We're going to do <laughs> Don't play, just listen. Mm -hmm. slower than that and you just give me an E rest D rest sorry E D C E rest D rest C rest 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 okay, okay. one two three okay. one two three four oh you're tightening up a little bit and watch that finger placement. You want your fingers to stay to lay, you want your fingers to lay right over these, these three keys. Okay. One, two, three, and rest. So I want you to do a rest in this one. Okay, fine. It's okay, you're, you're jumping ahead of me a little bit. Yeah. Right. One, two, three. E. E. Now D. Now C. Two, three. E again. E, two, D, C, two, three, and C, oh, C is the next note. No, C, 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 C. C, 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 D, 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 D. that you're always articulating with your tongue. Okay. Right? I know it's a lot easier to go ha, but you're going to regret that later on. Okay. All right? So can we try that one more time together? Mm -hmm. One. Starting on E, remember? With one finger. One, two, three, and. Okay? One, two, again, and. E, rest, rest. Make sure that you rest in between. Give yourself a break. Okay? You're doing great. <laughs> this Rocks. is so hard. Okay. Starting on E. One, two, three, and E. Rest. D. Okay? Once again. One, two, three, and E. Rest. D. Rest. C. Rest. 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 E. Rest. D. Rest. C, rest, rest, C, 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 D, 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 E, D, C, C. Alright, now just for just for our sake, can we make a nice full C full C? Three yeah. It's okay. It jumped out your mouth a little bit. Relax, keep yourself nice and relaxed. Seal at the mouth, behind the mouth, behind the teeth with the reeds. Make sure that your lip is rolled above, roll over the teeth. And angle it down just a little bit. Keep your, keep your face looking up. 
That's much better. So you correct something. Your cheeks puff out a little bit when you're looking down. When you're looking up, you correct. Great. Great. Now okay. we can play a song. What song are we going to play now? Okay. Well, now we're going to learn scale. Okay. Okay? <laughs> we're going to teach you a couple of different notes. Okay. Right? Listen, you're doing great. <laughs> Sounds great. Second lesson, remember. Okay. Doing very well. First one's only 10 minutes. Okay? <laughs> okay. So we know our C, D, E. Okay. What's next? F. Okay. F, we're going to play by picking up our first finger, but yeah. keeping the finger on the back, the thumb, okay. covering that hole. Can you play me an F? No, don't do any, don't do that. So your, your hand is flying off like this, but you're going to put yourself out of balance. Mm -hmm. Keep it just resting, keep it resting on your right thumb. And just like this. Down again, so make sure that they're near the keys they have to be on. That doesn't sound like yours, though. Well, no. So is it out of tune? A little bit, but it's fine. Alright. Okay. Why so is it out of tune? It's just a little bit out of tune. We don't <laughs> need to worry about the intonation. That's next lesson. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay. So pick up these three fingers and All just right. play that out. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna influence that with the back of your throat down the road. Okay. Okay. But we don't need to influence the back of your throat yet. Okay. Right. What's after F? G. G. Right. That's a silly question. But I don't know if okay. Okay. We're gonna play G by picking up this finger and just blowing through the whole right? thing. Right. But you don't want to move your hand all the way away from the instrument. Right? Okay. Right. You always want it to hover near the keys. So just pick it up and play an open G. We have an A next. Okay. A is a little bit tricky. You see this key right here above? Mm -hmm. above the, remember where your B was? Where yeah. Your B was? Yeah. Come on. Push, push that quickly. So can we very... So that's the first six notes uh -huh. of the C major scale. Can we play those quickly? Okay. C, D, E. F is open but with a thumb on. Yeah. G is all the way open. And then F. All right. Okay. All right. Hold on. Mm -hmm. We're going to... Yeah. Kind of. We're gonna we're gonna play them quickly. Mm. Half notes with a half rest. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Mm. Rest. Rest. Mm. Rest. E. Mm. Rest. Rest. F. Mm. Rest. Rest. So we've gotten to the end of the easy part of the instrument, and okay. now we have to discuss the break. So you see this register key on the back? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. That's the key above the thumb ring? Yeah. That's going to pop you up into the next register, but it doesn't oh. pop you up an octave. Okay. Because clarinet's very difficult. Okay. Okay. I'm going to teach you to play a B next. All right. right? But to you, you go from here, having to pop the, right, the instrument up an octave in order to get to the B. All right, so what you're going to do in order to make this note yeah. There's one, two, three on the top. And do you know where you're doing? We, we went over the last lesson and, and cover the back the back of your thumb. Yeah. Right. And then one, two, three on your on your right hand on the three on the three th finger rings. You see those? Okay. Right. Okay. So that would be a D, and then you want to push the register key down. What's the register key? The register key again is on the top. So uh, use the, use the, you have to push for them both bowls? down. That's Correct. Right. Oh, that's not easy. No. Okay. <laughs> it's not. All right. You get used to it. All right. Right? And then I want you to push down the bottom most key with your right pinky. Uh huh. There you go, you got it. Uh-huh. And the front most key with your left pinky. Right? This one? Yep. You see how this closes a closes a, a, a key down here? Yeah. And then this is the B key and that'll close all the way at the bottom of the instrument. Yeah. Right? And if everything's covered, a B should come out. Watch your ring finger on your right hand. On your left hand, excuse me. Nope. Uh, your middle finger, excuse me. Yep. Push it, put it down up right there. And you've got, you're locking your fingers. If you can keep them curved, it's going to be easier. There you go. Perfect. So just like you were doing before, behind your teeth. Yep, you're covering them up. 
Yes, it's going to be a frustrating instrument. Um, make sure that that ring finger, you have a tendency to, to pull it up like this as you're trying to do it, so make sure it's nice and covering the hole. So play the C. Play the three fingers. Push down the register key. You want to just tap it on the top of your Just so that we can review this, okay. at least one of the fingerings for it. It would be one, two, three on the top. Okay. One, two, three on the bottom. Okay. This is his bottom pinky. This one here. And the frontmost pinky key on your left hand. This one. Right. Can you just try and get that note out? Okay. Watch that ring finger in your right hand. Right hand. Yes. With the register key. So just, just, just tap it. You see how I do? It's okay. Let's okay. review the. Let's, can we review before we're done? Let's just review the C scale up to the A, which is what we have so far. All right. Right. So that's three, two, uh, okay. one. Remove for the F. Uh huh. Open for the G. Uh huh. And then that key for the A. Okay. We'll do it again together in, in half notes with half breath. We'll do it together. Okay. Half notes with half breath. Okay. One, two. Watch that ring for here. You go. One, two, together. <gasps> Watch those cheeks. Much better. Can you see how much better it sounds? Two. Rest. D. Rest. E. Rest. F. Rest. Open for G. Rest. And this finger for A. So one, one, one more note is that okay. you just want to try and, even though you're not playing these keys yet, yeah. even though that's a challenge for us, just make sure that they're ready to go. Okay. As much as possible. All right. Okay? Okay, well, you did very well. Thank you. Got a nice little lesson. <laughs>